Hello everyone, what's going on guys? Group Tower Gaming here back with another video. Today is really exciting guys. I actually found some tools off the side of the road. Can you believe that? Like a whole bucket full right there. And they're all rusty. So what I want to do is remove the rust and just clean them all. And this should take about two days. So early this morning, I started researching about how to remove rust. And I got some vinegar along with three-in-one oil and some baking soda. Now, of course, this is going to be a three-part thing. This is part one. So I have just some <coughs> this old white vinegar. Um, so it should work. I have three, and I'm filling an entire tote because I also have some other tools <laughs> that I had in my past that are also rusty. So I'm going to be using those. And my real struggle today is going to be this. Is this big guy. This is from my grandpa's garage. And that's going to be the biggest problem today. So let's go ahead and do that. See, it's already rusting my hand like a lot. Alright, so these tools aren't too bad rusty but of course you always want to take good care of your tools so this is a good tutorial on how to do that so there's also some electronics um, I'm taking out the electronics and there's also this compressor a very old one I am also going to keep that apparently it was from a garage sale I said they said so alright so here's all the tools for you guys today all right, and a whole lot more. So, let's go ahead and dump all of these in there. Let's go ahead and take out this. There we go. These don't look like they need to be fixed. These look brand spanking though. Um, tape measure, you obviously don't need to put that in there. Um, I have no idea what that is. But it's going in there. Now, I think, I went through all these tools last night, just to see if it was and not. Like, here's a bark cutter. That's definitely really rusty. We're actually going to restore all these tools. And then here's an L ruler. I'm trying to find that. I don't want to wrench that, but that's right. Perfect. Okay. Ah, here it is. Yeah, here's another set. I think it's the same set, just a little different. This might actually have to go in there. It's stuck. Yeah, a little oil could work that out. Slip her up. Okay. So here's another hand saw we're going to be restoring. It's really rusty. Another saw. these are, but I think they're part of like an Allen wrench set, so I'm just going to take off the tape. Really? Because really what's the point of having tape around it when all of it needs to get off? In Skyrim, they say, um, I think Adrenaline Advancy from White Run, the blacksmith, she uh, says, your tools will take care of you if you take care of them. So, in her words, we're going to take care of these tools. Or her weapons and armor. So. so I'm going to balance these out. See if there's anything else. Okay. These 
look like. These don't need to be in there. Because they're silver. You know, they'll be okay. This does not need to be in there. This was my great Grandma Browns. I just put it in there. And, um... Yeah, this was hers from my car. I just put it in there, just in case. I like to keep all my tools. Almost forgot the main part. Okay. Okay, so there they all are. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you. Alright, so this is what all of it just looks like in a giant tote. I might as well just keep the tote. You know, just keep the tote. Because this recycling bin that I found is not going to work as much. So, let's go ahead and pour in some vinegar. Oh, wait, I forgot to open up the seal. Mm -hmm. That would be useful. There we go. Shout out to Walmart. This is not a sponsored video. Okay, so that's all what one did. Really. I'm barely hitting the surface. I might have to get a few more. Ugh, man. But to be honest, whatever is unrusted tomorrow, um, I'll do. Whatever is rusted tomorrow, I'll also do. So whatever's not rusted, I'll take care of tomorrow. So this might be a four-step process. And I can see some of the rust already falling apart. Alrighty, so I only bought three, um, so hopefully this will work. So far, it looks like this. It looks like it is going okay. Um, there is a few tools that is covered in them. I might have to flatten them out and just take them day by day. Who knows? But I was really hoping that it could fill up. Because I told the Walmart dude that was helping me do this, he said, uh, well, what are you doing? And I'm going like, I'm removing rust from tools. And he's going like, oh, so it gave me the biggest box of baking soda and charged me two bucks for it. So I'm going like, sweet. Yeah. So that's the end of that. So now I'm just going to make sure that the big things I might just take out and just leave the small things. Then tomorrow I'll uh, leave that in there. Yeah. So let's go ahead. This I really want to get done first. Because look, it's already peeling away the grime and crap. So let me just go ahead. Get some of these submerged. Yeah, like the saw. Go back in there. This can stay. This can go in. Um, that will have to go.
this thing. To be honest, it looks kind of brand new. So, I'll just throw that one in. Okay, so most of them are pretty smart right now, which is great news. Right now it's burning some of my cuts, <laughs> which I'll have to take care of, but no big deal. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'll show you guys what all I'm doing right now. Just hold on. Just a minute. Alright. Alrighty. That. <laughs> Guys, this is a big socket wrench, and <laughs> it's only rusted on one side, so I'll just stand that side of it. That's funny, though. So, I got the majority of the tools in there, so let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So, anyways, let's go ahead and zoom in. So, they're mainly all covered in there, which is great, because then that means it's time for step two. So, I really smell like vinegar. Um, so, let me go ahead and scoot this into my garage, and we'll just wait until tomorrow. show you guys all of what I bought and again this is not a sp sponsored video so the guy gave me the biggest box that they had at Walmart for only two bucks for two boxes so I basically got a dollar per box from Walmart and then got a three in one oil basically it penetrates rust and this will actually be the last step that we will do um, we're going to basically make, if they're really bad after, um, we'll have to make a uh, baking soda and water mix. Oh, and so that way, it'll be done. And I also got to get my saw blade because my saw blade, well, you know what? It's a small saw blade. It'll be fine. It still cuts. But it will be nice. So, alrighty. So, anyways, that's what it looks like. So, have to get that done. And then tomorrow, guys, it will be part two. So, this is part one on how to remove rust. Wait, did we have three in one oil? We did. There goes about $10. Three packages. They're like five, like four to five bucks each. They're expensive. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for part two. Peace.